cost of living in Ghana, specifically in Kumasi. <laughs> Hello, good morning, guys. It's a girl if you are Kimura here. If you're old here, I really appreciate you for coming back always. But if today is your first time clicking on my video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more of such interesting videos. My channel is about travel, lifestyle, and nature. And whilst I'm here while I'm preparing to do my next trip, yeah, I want to show you a little bit of my lifestyle in Ghana and mostly in Kumasi. So I'm going to take you through cost of living in Ghana, specifically in Kumasi. So it's in the morning around uh, 10 a.m and i just woke up wash my face and then do my morning routine so i'm going to fetch water do we pay for water bill or you don't pay for water bill how do we live here in ghana in kumasi let me take you through or oh, i'll be going to town to do some rounds going to buy some stuff from the shop so i'll be taking you through everything so stay tuned and let's get right into the video let's go fetch some water let's go shut up this is where we get our water from we made it ourselves <clears throat> so that's the water inside and i'm going to fetch you connect it to a machine then to a poly tank then you connect it to the house but now the machine is no more working so we just fetch it right from here and it's clean it's clean my mom is going to fix it <laughs> i don't know how long this will take but it's, it's just taken like 100 years for her to fix it so this i'm going to do it Clean the water is. Ah. See how clean the water is. It's very clean. We use everything aside drinking. It's time for breakfast. This is Banku and Okro stew. It's actually not breakfast. But it's called like brunch so this is the bamboo mm. so we mostly eat i didn't buy it it's just a leftover food no we i mostly eat <laughs> leftover food in the house so i don't usually spend much on food when i'm in the house so i'm ready for the day i'm going to town and this is my outfit please mm -hmm. i wanted to put on wig but i just want to look smart so i just have to just do this and then go okay so this is the itinerary for today whilst i'm going to town first of all i'm going to the ghana tourism authority to register my travel and tour business i'm kind of a tour guide doing it freelance but right, right now i want to register and also get a license for it so i've already gone there for the requirement to register so I have everything here. Yeah, so I'm going to register today. They'll be giving me a letter to go for a police report. I don't know whether I will do that today or not. But today I'm going to the Ghana Tourism Authority, go to Melcom, it's a shopping mall, to get a campaign tent. You know, maybe take you around the shop to show you how prices in Ghana. Uh, and also I'll go to a doom to get a hard drive for my machine. Right now, I don't trust my machine. It used to go off while I'm working. It can go off like several times before I finish a video. Like it can go off several times before I can get a video done. So I don't trust it anymore. It can crash anytime. So I have to go get a hard drive for the machine. 
and then yeah so i'll be taking you through the transportation i'm going to get there the transport and anything that comes with cost i'm going to take you through so guys let's go stay tuned okay actually i want to go with an umbrella but i don't know carry an umbrella here with me because it's it was drizzling in the morning it's around uh 11 20 to 11 25 i don't know whether uh, it's so do you want to stop i don't know whether it's going to rain again or what but i don't know it's kind of heavy putting it in my bag no i'm not going with an umbrella i'm just going alone when it starts to rain i just find a place to hide and then we go so guys let's go let's go <laughs> i'm going to a doom cage it here okay so let's go so this is the requirements they gave me to register with the Ghana tourism authority they say we have the same thing as hotels and airbnbs so your copy of your certificate curriculum vita uh, that's all that's over there and also the registration fee is 85 cds and the license is 35 cds so let's go so i'm not going to order a car i'm going to walk from my house to the roadside to get a trotro the trotro is the short distance buses that takes people from where they are to town like that it's kind of cheap affordable not comfort yeah but as an average Ghanaian, that's what we like so let's go so that's a trotro <laughs> So I took three minutes drive here to Santasi to do photocopy. The drive was three cities and the photocopy, each copy was one city. So I did two copies, so two cities. So let's go to town from Santasi to Kajetia. <laughs> So this is Kumasi Cultural Center, the GTA area here. This is Center for National Culture, Ashanti Region, Kumasi. It's about to rain. Look at the clouds. Ghana tourism. So we are here. <laughs> This one is for registration, 85 cities for registration. So I'm done here with the Ghana Tourism Authority. Actually, I'm not done. I'm done with the registration. So no, they've not given me the letter for the police reports. I don't know whether I should go to the police station right now to file the reports or you let's like see. But I spent 30 min uh, 40 minutes there for everything. <laughs> There is an exhibition going here in the cultural center mm -hmm. so right now it's, it's actually shining again the sun is shining that's how the weather is like not actually shining but it goes up and like that so going out from the cultural center and i don't know whether i should go to the police station right now or we let's see we let's see where to go next so here is kind of the city center from one office to another they are kind of close so i don't need a car to go to any of the places i'll just be doing walking 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 so right now it's just walking walking so let me do the walking so i'll not be taking a car to all these places it's kind it's quite yeah so let's do
is a Ghana prison, Kumasi prisons. So right now I'm going to Melcom. I'm done with the police report. Like I'm done paying and everything today. So they should have to come in two weeks time. These are microwaves. How much is microwave in Ghana? This one is 2,000, 300, 1,400. This one is 1,100. And rice cookers. This is Melcom. We have um, 300, like 400 almost. I understand. We have kitchen tables too, uh, dining hall tables and all that. These are blenders, almost six, no, five, sixty, so five, five, nine. And, uh, Actually, I came in here for camping tents, but they don't have camping tents, so I have to go back. So I'm going to do to check the hard drive right now then i'm done for the day these are washing machines six hundred six thousand six hundred and forty nine and this is 7,699. Mm -hmm. These are air conditions. Actually, mm -hmm. hey, the amount I, I paid for the police reports is hey, 600 cities. Hmm. <laughs> so please come and book me and I charge you. Please pay as well, okay? Please, I beg. I'm coming back from the hard drive shop. I didn't get some. Not that I didn't get some. They say that it's even higher than I, uh, I budgeted. They say one, one terabyte is... 850 or 900 and 2 terabytes is 1000 cities. I was thinking like half of 1000. But so I couldn't buy it, so I'm going home. So right now I'm official tour guide, yes, because I've registered level the license. So I can take you anywhere in Ghana. Please patronize me for your trip in Ghana. Anywhere in Ghana, Togo, Beni, um, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, I can take you, okay? Please patronize me. So now I have to go get a car back home. The same truck I came with, I have to get the same car back home.
So I just go home like I'm I'm walking to the house. On a, on a normal day from KJTL to my place is 40, 50 persons. And when it's getting to in the evening, like 4, they take KJTL to Santasi, 4 cities, and they'll take Santasi to here, 3 cities, so 7 cities. No, on a normal day, 5 cities, straight car. But in the evening, they take short, short, uh, short, short so you have to pay 7 cities to get here, which is actually on a normal day, it's 5 cities. So, <laughs> that's it. So I'm home. So this is how an average Ghanaian lives in Ghana. Yeah, that's it. In Ghana. And thank you so much for watching the video. Until we meet again, my next video is a girl. Love you. Bye bye.